and welcome to Solve My Math Homework. We are the YouTube channel that solves only the math problems our subscribers send in. And today's problem is a word problem that involves the perimeter of a rectangle. It says Cassandra has a rectangular patio in her backyard, and that patio is 12.74 meters long and 5.45 meters wide. And then it provides a rectangle that has the length of 12.74 meters labeled and the width of 5.45 meters labeled. It wants us to round the length and width to the nearest whole number and estimate the perimeter of Cassandra's, Cassandra's patio. And then of course it wants us to write an equation to model our work. So the key here is that we're finding an estimate for the perimeter. And we're doing that because as soon as you round values, as soon as you're not calculating with the actual values given, what you're finding is an estimate. So it asks us to round the length and width to the nearest whole number. That actually makes this problem much easier but we do have to take that first step and round each of those value, values. So let's go ahead and do that. Our first step is going to be to round the length and the width to the nearest whole number. So the width is 5.45 meters, the length is 12.74 meters. Remember, when you are rounding, you have to look to the place value to the right of what you're rounding to. We're rounding to the whole number, so that whole number is this value right here before the decimal, which means we need to look one place to the right, so we need to look to the tenths place. If this value right here, this point 0.4, if that 4 is 5 or greater, we round up to the near next whole number. If it is not, so if it is 4 or less, we will round down to 5. So think of this, 45 hundredths, that's what this decimal value is. Halfway or more, we round up. If it's not at least halfway to the next number, we are rounding down. So 4 is definitely less than 5. We are going to round 5.45 down to 5. That will be the whole number it rounds to. Let's do the same with length. 12.74, so that's 74 hundredths. But remember, I only have to concern myself with this very first decimal place. If this 0.7 is 5 or greater, we round up. 7 is greater than 5, we're going to round 12.74 up to the nearest whole number and that will be 13. So now we're working with a width of 5 meters and a length of 13 meters. We won't be calculating with any decimals whatsoever. That's the first step. Second step is remembering what perimeter is. Perimeter is the measurement around a figure. Okay, It is that linear measurement that goes around a figure. Picture taking some string and tracing it over the edge of a figure. That string, the length of that string, would be the perimeter of that figure. So how do we calculate that? Well, for a rectangle, it would be the length plus the width plus the other length plus the other width. Now, since we know a little something about rectangles, we could say we know there are two lengths, right? One, two, and we know there are two widths. So we're going to say that the perimeter of a rectangle is really two times the width plus two times the length because we know there's two widths and two lengths. Now this isn't quite an equation, so let's really make an equation that our teacher wants to see. We're going to say that perimeter is P is equal to 2W plus 2L. So 2 times the length of the width plus 2 times the length of the length. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. 2 times the value of the width plus 2 times the value of the length. So that's what we're going to do. We've already rounded our width and length values. We're going to pop them into our equation. So we're going to get P equals 2 times 5 plus 2 times 13, which gives us 10 plus 26, which gives us an approximate perimeter of 36 meters. Remember, once we rounded, we weren't calculating exact perimeter. So we use this squiggly equal sign to say approximately. We've rounded values here. This is not an exact measurement. And remember, don't leave off meters from your answer. This was in uh, units of meters in our problem, so our answer must contain the same units. You can't just have a naked number with no units. So our perimeter is 36 meters. And that's it. I hope it helped. Remember, if this helped, you should be subscribed to our YouTube channel. It exists for you to send any questions in, for us to make you a custom video solution, and maybe your nights doing homework will be just a little bit easier. Till next time, take it easy.